The following presentation of the Montymans Meditorials is brought to you by Kurt and Debbie Palmer, Roger McDermott and KHLT Recovery Broadcasting. To subscribe to this as well as any of our recovery shows, visit our website at take12radio.com. And now, here's the Monty Man with this week's Meditorial. Well, greetings, friends, greeting family, and all those in recovery, those of you who are advocates of, and perhaps some of you who should be. Welcome to this week's Monty Man's Meditorial. I'm your host, the Monty Man. We are continuing with our excerpts from the book, 12 Stupid Things That Mess Up Recovery, by Dr. Alan Berger. This week, stupid thing number 11. What is it? Well, believing that life should be easy. Listen, the idea that life should be easy is one of the myths or attitudes that set us up for addiction. Our obsession with this notion is fertile ground for us to turn toward alcohol and other drugs for a quick fix to, well, you know, our pain, regardless of whether it is caused by depression, anxiety, fear, insecurity, stress, relationship problems, low self-esteem, an abusive relationship, or childhood trauma. Dealing with painful experiences and anxiety is not easy, and we are setting ourselves up if we expect it to be easy. You know, I've seen many patients drop out of therapy or stop attending 12-step meetings because things got worse before they got better. The truth is that this is exactly what is supposed to happen. As we begin to get more honest with ourselves, we see things that we don't like about ourselves and confront things that we have been hiding from ourselves. Growing up requires the ability to support ourselves in our growth with an unfailing commitment. Most people, well, they're unwilling to make this kind of a commitment unless their backs are up against the wall. A culture based on the easy way is doomed to fail. It cultivates neither wisdom nor spirituality and perpetuates emotional immaturity. Finding the easy way is an infantile wish that often persists way into adulthood. This curse permeates every level of our society, and yet we buy into it wholeheartedly. The results are reflected in our personal behavior and in the state of our institutions. A husband gets enraged because his wife won't give in to his emotional blackmail. An employee demands a raise even though the quality of his work doesn't warrant such recognition. An institution of higher education drops the requirements of mastering a second language from their doctoral program, well, because it's too hard. A school drops its grading standards to make it easier for children to get good grades. When a teacher is being hard on a child, the parents protect their child instead of working with their child to address the problems. Many people in recovery don't work the fourth step because it's too hard. Listen, life is difficult. The sooner we are initiated into this reality, the sooner we will learn how to deal with life on life's terms rather than waste our time looking for the easier, softer way. Remember, my friends, half measures availed us Zippo. <laughs> Listen, if you would like more from Dr. Allen Berger's book, 12 Stupid Things That Mess Up Recovery, it's an easy read and it's extremely affordable. You can purchase this book on Amazon or visit Dr. Berger's website at abphd.com. We want to thank Dr. Berger for everything he does for Take 12 Recovery Radio, sponsoring shows, co-hosting shows with us, doing workshops with us. Uh, If you'd like to uh, download for fun and for free the workshop Step-by-Step Toward Emotional Sobriety with Dr. Berger, myself, and special guests, you could do that by visiting our website at take12radio.com and clicking on the Recovery Workshops banner. Once you click on it, you'll be taken to a page that has several workshops, including Dr. Berger's workshop, 
step-by-step toward emotional sobriety. Please subscribe here or on any of the podcasting platforms at Take12Radio.com and comment on the shows or send us an email at Take12Radio at Comcast.net. Until our next broadcast, this is the Monty Man, and I am wishing God's perfect serenity for you. This has been a broadcast of KHLT Recovery Broadcasting and the Take 12 Recovery Radio Shows.